Patch 13.20 is upon us with some nerfs, some buffs, and a massive amount of other changes too. The first nerf goes to Akshan, whose Q will grant less move speed early, and his E is losing 5 flat damage. The next goes to Belveth, whose passive will grant less attack speed. In addition, her E can now crit, but grants less damage reduction early, and deals less flat damage, but scales better with AD. In addition, her ultimate grants less health and move speed early. Following this, Kaisa is losing 3 flat armor. Next, Quinn is losing a chunk of flat's health and 5 move speed, however will be getting 0.3 more AD per level. And the final nerf goes to Zed, whose W will have a longer cooldown as it's leveled. The first buff goes to Galio, whose W will now have a lower cooldown and out of combat timer when leveled. Next we have Jinx, who will be gaining 5 additional health per level and her passive attack speed will now stack. In addition, her ultimate will now have a 5 second less cooldown at each rank and deal more flat damage and scale better with AD. Following this we have Milio, whose passive will now be considered his damage, however will still grant his allies the kill. In addition, his E now has a 1 second better cooldown and shields more as it's leveled, and his ultimate now scales with 50% AP. Next we have Morgana, whose W will now scale better with AD. AP, but her E will have longer cooldown before fully leveled. However, her ultimate will now grant 5% more move speed in all directions. The stun duration will increase as leveled, and it deals a large amount more flat and scaling AP damage. And the final buff goes to Ziggs, whose Q will now explode in a larger radius. We also have Cassante's mini rework, where he's losing 40 base health, but gaining 7 health and 0.5 extra armor per level. And get ready for all of these changes. Firstly, his passive no longer scales with armor and magic res. His Q can no longer be used while flashing and will deal less damage until fully leveled. In addition, his W now costs less mana, and can be reactivated earlier and will deal the same damage, dash, and CC regardless of how long the ability was charged. The damage reduction is increased but no longer scales with armor and magic res. However, the ability will now always stun for 1.25 seconds. In addition, the ability now deals flat damage rather than max health damage, and this will no longer deal bonus flat damage when in all-out form. His ultimate now reduces his max health to 65%. The knockback distance is reduced, however the damage is increased but now scales with AP rather than AD. In addition, using ultimate now resets his Q stat and the bonus AD gained is now much higher but scales less well with armor and magic res. And finally, he now gains a chunk of attack speed when in all-out form and he gains healing against champions. These are a massive amount of changes to make to one champion to single time. In addition, we also have a number of changes to items. Starting with Blighting Jewel, it will now cost 150 less. Duskblade grants 5 less ability haste and less damage amplification. Lord Doms is having a small change to deal less damage, but the Giant Slayer passive now applies before shield and life steal, so it should be pretty similar overall. And Ghostblade's passive will now grant more lethality. In addition, all starter items have been buffed, essentially meaning if you're not planning on starting a support item or Doran's item, you're probably trolling, as all of their stats across the board are being increased, with Doran's shield granting even more regen too. As for other changes, Smite now sucks against champions and pets now only dealing 40 damage, Dragons have been nerfed across the board, Rift Herald now only grants 100 gold, Baron now has more health, you respawn faster when dying in the early game, and Turret Plates now only grant 125 gold. We also have nerfs to Conqueror, Lethal Tempo, Electrocute, Dark Harvest, Arcane Comet, Summon Airy, Fleet Footwork, and first strike.